what's up guys i uh, hope you're all having a good week starting the weekend off too so uh you probably won't be seeing me do any videos for a while i'm in the process of moving for one i need the space i mean it's i've, I've pretty much outgrown this this garage um so and y'all see my videos of my my setup so i definitely need more space but so what I got planned, so obviously what, what I got planned with moving is purging, obviously. Um, I need to get rid of some inventory just to kind of start fresh in my new garage. And what I pretty much ultimately decided was with this US General 34, I'm going to go ahead and sell this unit. Um, it's been a great box, but for one, it'll, you know, help with the funds as well. And two, I just want to go ahead and um, just kind of consolidate things first and see where I go from there. So that's the plan right now. So what I'm going to do is um, get all this stuff boxed up so that way I can transfer it in to my Plano tote, majority of the stuff, and then go ahead and post this thing up for sale. Plus with all the moving fees stuff like that and these days higher interest rates any bit you know helps out so uh so yeah let me go ahead and get this start stuff started and start bagging this up all right so we're just going to start with the sockets i'm just going to use these that way i just put them in the sets and then uh we'll get a little sharpie So if you don't want to watch me pack, you might want to watch something else. Yeah, the reason I kind of decided to get rid of this box for one is the main purpose of it was to kind of be mobile, I guess, you know, move around the garage, but obviously that kind of didn't work out for the simple fact that I ran out of space and I piled this thing up pretty well it's it's pretty heavy to move around um, but I don't know if that's just I, I've, I've changed casters on this thing to see if that would help but it didn't so well we'll see what I want to end up doing next I may end up uh, seeing how much I space I have in the garage. I'd like to get a the matching Husky, was it 90, not 96, I think it's an 80 inch box, it's a longer one. And then that way, it's not a bunch of multiple boxes. So I plan on eventually getting rid of these two boxes as, as well too. Uh, but I haven't decided yet. Um, so, yeah. I want to see down the road how that all works out. So, what do we got here? We're going to do, we already got the quarter inch standard regular sockets. Let me do the quarter inch swivels. Now, where do I plan on putting these in when I get over there? I have no idea yet. We'll see. All right. Like I said for now, money's more important. Making sure that we have enough funds for everything, whether we're over or under. I'd rather feel more comfortable than hold on to something that I know I can always replace. So. Toolboxes can be replaced. And then these are always available. All right. So this one's gonna be kind of straightforward. I'll just put my O2 sensor sockets in this one. Grab 
turbine sockets, and then a brush. So there's that. Now, obviously, if I was short on time, I would just take this whole thing and dump it in that tote, but definitely don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get some of these fluids out of the way. That's better. So again, I love this this tool grid setup. Uh, let's see. Some people hate it, some people love it. I personally enjoy the setup, the way it looks, how everything just kind of matches up in a row. Now my big toolbox, I'm probably going to have to hire a tow truck for that thing. I spoke with a few moving companies and they do not move toolboxes just for the sheer size and weight and they don't have the I guess the uh, equipment for it to transport properly is what they said. But they did recommend that I just go straight to a uh, tow company. So if any of y'all know how much that normally costs, I've never done that before, shoot a comment below. That way I can kind of know what to expect. Um, as well as not get ripped off either. So I appreciate that very kindly. Um, I did think about just running a trailer and seeing it load myself, but pushing it on there's going to be a pain. Shallows. Just moving through these pretty quickly. Well, I'll tell you what, the temperature down here in Texas is wonderful. In the 70s yesterday. Right now it's wind chill is 36. But that wind chill hasn't hit inside the garage yet, so I'm sitting here sweating my butt off. I mean look at all this. This is just wonderful. This is beautiful.
All right, so I got everything cleared out pretty much on the top. Um, I'm gonna throw those in. I don't use those anymore. I don't have no reason to use them. Um, probably throw that in as well. And these two screwdrivers, I have not used these. I'm using the flat one probably once to pry some stuff inside the grill. Uh, but usually the these longer thinner cabinet ones work better so that one's been good but i got two of them i'm gonna throw the other one to my uh my stepson and then i already have my new upgraded set of snap-ons so i'll pass that along but yeah so everything's kind of cleared off the only thing i need to do now is find the latch part so that we can latch in and that'll be done and i'll start emptying these out but got this part was the longest part so what's up guys so as you see the title getting rid of my some macro tools so so i'm gonna show you what i'm what's happening here so just a little brief overview and just details on why i'm getting rid of my macro tools because i'm moving i want to downsize and this extra cash in my pocket so all right so what i decided to do was all of my orange comfort good handle ratchets those are what i'm selling well they're actually already sold so i'm about to pack them up here so i ended up selling my half inch straight ratchet this three inch breaker bar uh three eighths flex head three eighths straight long handle three eighths just regular handle this three eight z it's got that wide neck to it and then a quarter inch flex head so as you know if any of y'all been watching my channel I've kind of retired these uh, into the box. I've been using my snap-ons and uh, icons. Um, I've had these for years. This one was a warranty. Uh, this one was a warranty, so it's pretty much basically new. It's got the newer print on there, as opposed to uh, you know like that where it's kind of stamped in. Um, so yeah, you know, hate to see it go, but I don't use it anymore. So I don't, you know, it's not something that's just been, it's been collecting them. Um, I will say that I am going to keep these hard handle comfort grips. Uh, these are a little bit more, I, this style is a little bit more rare uh, to, in terms of uh, finding them online and they're, they're older models. Um, but, but they are the 88 tooth. Um, so I don't see those as quite often anymore online. So I'm definitely keeping those. Uh, I may end up selling some of my gear wrenches, uh, my 90 tooth ones. So, I mean, I'm getting rid of those. I'll probably keep the 120 XPs and then use those for my uh, my travel bag or junkyard bag or whatever. But yeah, so in the last video i uploaded i got rid of my uh u.s general service bank uh full service bank cart so only thing i'm planning on moving is this setup that box there that i'm saving for my stepson and then those two boxes right here so so yeah uh total of seven pieces that i'm getting rid of had a guy reach out to me. I actually listed them on eBay last night uh, as singles, but he, he reached out to me, asked for a package deal. So I gave him a package deal. So it's gonna go to a good new good home, new mechanic, um, and he'll definitely put them in use. So uh, y'all stay tuned. I won't be uploading much videos for the next few weeks until I get moved and settled in and stuff and get my garage set up and and uh, my work area set up. So. Um, gonna be busy trying to float things and and service cars and all that kind of stuff so all right guys